Hi everyone, it's me, Dylan. And today is day seven of seven of trying to find the perfect SpongeBob popsicle, sadly. Now, this one was, the reason I'm doing this right like this is because it feels like it's broken, but I like ones that are kind of broken to see what they look like. But we went looking for them the other day, and we found them, but they were out of stock. We found the picture, but they were out of stock. So, day seven of seven, you all heard me. My face won't really be in this. If you saw it, you're lucky, uh, because this is like a face down video. Oh boy, how messed up is he? Oh boy. What the heck is that? Let's piece that together. Or at least try to. Oh, wait. Yeah. If this was pieced together, it would be like that. And then like that. But, yeah, look, um, the eyes are derpy, one eye's there, one eye's there. There's, again, there must be a condition with these popsicles. They have buck teeth, again, and then there's some slits in them. Oh, yeah, and he's missing part of them right there. Yeah, this was day seven of seven of trying to find... The perfect SpongeBob popsicle, and it wasn't perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed my week-long series. Well, over a week, actually, because I had to take a couple breaks from eating these things. They gave me brain freeze. So, pretty bad brain freeze, too, because they taste good. But, um, it took me about 12 days to do this whole series total because of the brain freeze. So, I took a break. And would eat a popsicle every couple days. And I just really hope you guys enjoyed me trying to find this perfect popsicle that wasn't perfect. And I hope you guys enjoy my future videos. Till then, my name is Dylan and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.